So, Michael, tell us, why are you a Christian on the left? I'm a Christian on the left because I believe that faith and politics are actually something that should be intermixed. They shouldn't be kept separate. Um, it always frustrates me when I hear politicians saying the church should keep his nose out of politics. You are never politicians want someone to latch onto a cause, who are the first people they come on to? It's the church and the big society is a classic example. So I've always believed and have believed for many years that faith and politics are something that should be intermixed because one should be an extension of the other. I myself do that because I study at the Queen's Foundation in Birmingham, studying theology. Hope to be ordained one day, but at the moment just doing the, just doing the, the academic bit. And I'm a secretary of the Social Justice Action Committee at Queen's. And it's something that uh, this year in particular we've expanded into a number of areas. My own particular interest is housing and homelessness. I lead the housing and homelessness subgroup. And this between January and March next, we'll, me and a number of others will be volunteering at the Birmingham, winter, winter, Birmingham Church's Winter Night Shelter, which is an initiative run every year to alleviate homelessness in, this, in Britain's second city. So that's something that we do and it's something we commit to. Um, extremely disappointed how the vote went in Parliament yesterday. Uh, two Tory MPs who filibustered the bill, quite frankly, uh, disgraced the Parliament. That's just a personal opinion. For folks who don't know about that, tell us a little bit about the background of that story, okay, Michael. It was a Tenancies Reform Bill put forward by Sarah Teller. It was a private member's bill. Very few of them get government backing. This one did. And the vote was held yesterday to give it a second reading, which if it did, it would have become law by the end of March. And, and what, would, what would it have stipulated? It would have outlawed revenge evictions. So at the moment, if you're a private tenant, and you complain to your landlord legitimately about a problem, they could throw you out at less than a fortnight's notice. This bill would have actually made that illegal and would have put a number of uh, safeguards into place so that if you simply were exercising your right to live in secure accommodation, without water leaking through the ceiling or have a boiler that works or anything else, um, your landlord couldn't evict you. The vote was held, uh, the debate was held yesterday, a number, of, a number of MPs turned up, everyone, even the housing minister supported it, but uh, Messrs Davis and Chope, the two Tory MPs, decided to filibuster it and unfortunately the bill fell. Oh, it's very unlikely to become law. So that's something that's particularly disappointing. Certainly myself and a number of the students at the Queen's emailed their MPs and said, will you please support this bill? Yep. Got a number of answers back. Some were very supportive, some were yes, but, yeah. as you would expect. But yeah. the fact that we've raised the issue and it's, the, the awareness has been raised, if Labour do form the next government, they have promised substantial reforms. Um, the only problem with that is, of course, A, if they get elected, and B, when will the reforms come in? Sure. I'd rather hope that will be a priority. Sure. It's a great example, isn't it, of, of something that you're passionate about locally being hugely impacted by what happens in Westminster? Well, I'm fortunate I have a, an oldest life to be homeless. Not out on the street homeless, thank, thank God it never came to that, but knowing what it's like to have friends or relatives provide you with a, a roof over your head and a bed to sleep in um, yeah. until you get yourself sorted. So it's not a very pleasant experience. We have a number of other things that we do at the Queen's. Um, trafficking and slavery is a big issue. Um, even around Birmingham, uh, there was a Chinese restaurant not very far from where our university is based, where it was raided a little while ago, and they found that the three of the people who were working there had actually been trafficked in from, the, in from China. So um, mm. stories like that in Birmingham are actually quite yeah. common. Other issues we look at are very much, we have a drones group, and um, we do regular protests outside the drones factory in Shenston, ah, yes. which is Israeli owned, peaceful yep. protests. Yep. And if I could just do a little plug for the 10th of December, sure. anyone's in Birmingham, uh, come to the ball ring about 2.15 and you'll see a bunch of students from the Queens doing what we call subversive carols. Ah. Now this is where we take uh, traditional Christmas carols and sing the, put them new words to them which is basically trying to remind people of subvert the, the current message of Christmas and all its commercialization and try and bring it back to something like the, what the original message of Christmas is. And at the same time, we'll be doing a Robin Hood tax protest outside ah, the right. And We did it last year. I did a couple of years ago. It got, uh, got videoed by Birmingham University students. It's been uploaded to YouTube. It's still there if anyone wants to look for it. Uh, please turn up and I think it's a great laugh. Um, they know that we're not out to cause trouble. Uh, but we do make raise awareness of issues like Robin Hood tax. 
and we do raise issues of awareness of about people getting into debt because of Christmas. Sure. Michael, it's fantastic. We, we're always passionate at Christians on the left of encouraging people to connect uh, what they're campaigning on with regard to policy with their lifestyle. And, it, you know, you do that in spades. So thanks for being part of us. No problem. Bless you, man. See you okay. soon.